What I want to have a look at now is uh, a table that I've created in uh, a database called the Languages Table, like Table with Errors, uh, what not to do with table design. If I open this table and uh, look at the information in this table, uh, notice uh, how it's been constructed. Uh, in particular, uh, focus your attention on the Languages column. Now, bearing in mind one of the main purposes of using a database is to be able to store and retrieve information and sort information uh, when required. This table has a problem and it's been created uh, purposely with an error uh, to demonstrate uh, the problems associated with it. Now when you sort information or when access sorts information uh, and if I demonstrate here by clicking uh, on the uh, Z to A button, the uh, sort descending order button, uh, you'll see how the information has been rearranged. The data is now sorting based upon uh, the information starting from the left and going to the right. So all of the people who, uh, whose uh, languages uh, start with the letter S, which is the last letter in uh, this particular, last letter in the alphabet with this particular uh, set of data, uh, all of the information gets sorted according to descending order. Uh, if I click on A to Z, uh, sorting in ascending order, uh, I start out with all the people whose uh, languages uh, that they speak start with the letter A. And again, the sorting process starts from the left-hand side and goes to the right-hand side. But if I was wanting to sp uh, find those people who speak, for example, Greek, uh, I can't simply just go down and look for Greek down here because you'll notice uh, throughout the database or throughout this column there are other uh, people who have been uh, identified as being Greek speakers. Uh, this point here, this point here, this point here and if I was wanting to find all the Greek speakers I'd have to go through and manually locate those people. The process of sorting is not being carried out properly. Now, I guess you might say, well, I can still find the Greek speakers because I can go through and manually find those people. But the problem is, if I was wanting to be able to collect them all together and have them in groups, say, like, for example, uh, where I've got the Chinese speakers here, uh, this process is not being carried out efficiently. Uh, having to go through and manually find the people is a little bit like uh, having a dog and you doing the barking. Uh, that's not the purpose of having the dog. So in the context of the database, I want the database to be able to sort properly. I want to be able to sort the uh, people, uh, uh, sort the information based upon these languages uh, more efficiently than this. The solution to the problem is quite simply. Uh, what I need to do is to make sure that when I enter in information into the database, this table, I need to make sure I've only got one piece of data or one I identify one language uh, for the cell. Uh, in the case of uh, these people here, uh, the information's been uh, typed in correctly, but in the cases where I've got three or four uh, entries in each of these cells, this is a poorly constructed database. If you were to do this in a commercial context, you'd find yourself having to do a lot more work to correct the problem. This is an example of what never to do in a database. You should never have more than one piece of data in any one cell because the whole purpose is to be able to sort efficiently.